Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today is my much anticipated trying new makeup video. I don't have a ton of new products to try but I did buy these all myself. I haven't been buying too much makeup lately. I'm very excited about the products I did choose. I'm gonna try just for fun this Hollywood Flawless Filter because I've never tried it before and I realized I had a foil packet of it. But I do have an e.l.f. putty blush with the putty applicator. I have the number seven powder to try. I have this palette from Aether Beauty. This is their Citrine Quad. And then I wanted to do a new lip and I just could not choose one. So I actually just have this uh, bag full of unused lip products because I was like, oh, I can't use them. I need to test them in a video. And then they've just been sitting here for way too long. So I'm just gonna randomly pick one today. That's my plan. Oh, and I also have brushes I got from Ipsy. So these are all SL Miss Glam brushes. These are Alamar Cosmetic brushes. Realizing I did not wet a sponge, so I gotta do, so I gotta go do that. And then we'll do a full face of makeup. Obviously most of this is not gonna be my new products, but it's still fun to use our older stuff. So I'll be right back with a sponge. Okay, I'm going to start off with the Flawless Filter. I actually think this might be every shade of it. So at a minimum, I'm going to try to use up at least the top three shades before I call this like an empty product. But I'm just gonna try the latest shade today, which is fair. And I'm probably just gonna use my finger to apply it. I've been using the, the Becca Backlight Filter a lot recently. So I'm really wondering how this will compare. Cause I know a lot of people like this, but this, God, this one sample is like nothing. Wow. <laughs> this one sample I feel like isn't enough for even your full face. So that's interesting. I mean, <laughs> I feel like I really had to work it in there. But I mean, it looks nice, but oh, I wish the Becca one was still being sold because I feel like that one just has that glow, but I really like the texture of that one as well. There you have it. I'll use it two more times, hopefully. All right, my three concealer routine is about to happen. And I swear, all three of them are so close to being done. That will be such a good dent out of my collection. So the First Aid Beauty Fendi Avocado, I pulled out the stopper and there's like nothing in there. So I'm really, really close to this one being done, but still product is coming out. So it's not done yet. And then this L'Oreal True Match that I've been mixing it with, it's getting down there too. Like I really got to work to squeeze it out right now. And then this one from Tracy is in my project pan and I am so close to it being done. And I just use this for like little spot concealing spots. You know, like this might be a spoiler, but that's it. That's all that's left. And my project pan should be coming next month. So hopefully that's done by next month and I can roll in a new product. The brush set didn't have um, like a denser brush. So I'm gonna use this one from Luxie for my cream products. And then I did grab a Real Technique sponge for the concealer. Concealed. And now I'm gonna go in with my foundation combination, which is the Fenty um, Ease Drop with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I usually customize the shade depending on how fresh my tan is, and I just tanned last night, so I'm not gonna go in too much with the Fenty <laughs> since it's pretty light. Every time I use this, I swear it's gonna be the last time, and stuff still comes out, so <laughs> we're almost empty. And I think this Fenty, I have in shade one, and I did repurchase it, I think I got shade two as my backup. And the Wet n Wild I have in shade light medium. I don't know, I really like the way these two kind of mix together. And I don't worry too much if it's still too light because when you bronze up, it kind of evens everything out anyway. But I like the, the way this makes my skin look, but it also doesn't have like too much coverage because I've been enjoying just using like concealer for coverage and then foundation more so for like evening out and not necessarily hiding everything. Another never ending product is this e.l.f. brightener. Just trying to use it up so that I can crack into my Becca brightener. And then I feel, I can't remember if I've been talking about all these before, but I am trying to finish up my wet, my Physicians Formula cream bronzer and there's that much left. So I don't really know how much time worth of bronzer that is. This would be really cool to finish this year. And then we can talk about the blush because I have a different potted blush from e.l.f. that I really like and it's not their putty blush. And of course I bought the putty blush like not long before they came out with the newer ones. So I don't know if I would have chosen one of the newer Luminous, is that what they are? Or Shimmer, Radiant, whatever they are. But I wanna show you guys the older e.l.f. blush I have and we can compare them. So I got the shade Bahama. I did buy this at Target. So this is Bahama. But I have this one, but if you're looking, it's like, slightly bigger and this i don't know what they used to call it but this was the shade soft peach and i actually really really like this formula and i'm wondering if they're similar formulas i did buy the putty brush because i feel like i hear a lot about this putty brush and i'm going to try it with the brush however 
This blush I always use with a sponge. So I'm wondering if a brush is gonna be the wrong choice. So I don't know, I might try, oh goodness. So I'm gonna try one side with the brush and see what I, how I feel about it. And if I feel like it's not working, I'm gonna go with the sponge on the other side. But, okay, so, here we go. I actually feel like that did a pretty good job blending that out. I'm using more like a tapping motion, but I like that, that looks nice. I like the shade. Okay, the brush seems to work really well. I like the size of it, it's nice and small. Mmm, that's nice, that's nice. I almost wanna try it with the sponge just to see how it applies with the sponge too. Cause I find that blushes like this can kinda look a little bit more luminous when you use a sponge. It's definitely a bit pigmented, that's for sure. I wouldn't necessarily say that's like super beginner <laughs> friendly, but what I would do is I would just use the brush I use for my other products and just kind of blend out the edges. Right off the bat, I like it. I don't know if it's going to become an all-time favorite, but I don't hate it. Because I really, really like this one that they used to have, this old formula, which is a little bit creamier, I feel like. So we'll see. All right, gonna throw on my Project Pan cream highlighter stick, which would also be awesome if it was done by next month, but this, it's deceiving. It's just a very deceiving product. It's never ending. And then I'm just gonna blend the e.l.f. concealer. Hmm. Kind of feel like the um, blush is disappearing. I don't know if I did that or if it did it itself. That's gonna take, that's gonna be one of those products where I feel like I'm gonna need to use it and play with it a few times before I really make a decision. I'm very excited for this, for this number seven powder. This is something that's been like on my list of wanting to get for years. I got this in the lightest shade light and I'm going to use this basically as any powder I would use today. So my under eyes, my lids, and then like setting everything at the end. Hmm, my brush I use. I'll try this one from SL Miss Glam. Do these have names? Tapered powder. So I'm going to try this one under my eyes, which I'm pretty sure everyone says this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder, which I've never tried. <laughs> I won't be able to do that comparison, but I'm excited to use it. Now I do believe that there are like two different number seven powders, powders, and this is the like lift, lift, what's it called? Lift and Luminate finishing powder. All right, so I've been trying to finish this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil and there is that much left. So I'm gonna guess there's only like a day or two left of using this product and then it'll be done. It's exciting, I've been trying so hard to work on my collection and I feel like I've been having a lot of trouble with content lately, like coming up with like creative content when I feel like I'm in such a rut. So I wanted to know if I was to do like a, you guys choose my makeup kind of thing where like I'm reaching into my collection, picking out products I haven't used in a while. And I was to do it like poll style. Would you prefer the polls to be in the YouTube like community tab area or on my Instagram stories? Because I feel like I'm running out of creative ways to just like use my makeup authentically, I guess. And I have the ABH brow gel. All right, I'm gonna use another one of these brushes. Maybe this one, this one's pretty big. This is a flat contour. I'm gonna use this to bronze with my butter bronzer, another product I would love to use up this year. I feel like that's another reason I feel so boring is like I'm so focused on like finishing product that I'm honestly just using the same things constantly and everything else is literally the most neglected ever. And like so much of my makeup is from like the 2018, 2019 realm. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, it's just all sitting there being unused. And like, I feel guilty and I like it all, but like I'm having trouble finding the time and everything to just like use what I have, which is why I've been trying to consciously like not bring as much in. Now I'm gonna try this eyeshadow palette from Aether. And I'm really excited. So it's like one matte and three shimmers. I haven't fully decided what I'm gonna do yet. So I'm honestly thinking of just using the top two shades because I talked about this with the Urban Decay palette. It's like, I'm good with like one matte, one shimmer and like out the door. So I'm gonna try my technique with this palette. So I'm gonna go with this brush. This is a eye blender and I'm gonna go with the matte and see what I can do. Okay, now I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. This one is called the Fluffy Blender. And I usually take the, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and diffuse it. So I'm gonna go in with 
this shade, which is, I think, dim light. Yeah, it's dim light. Which I recently hit pan on and just blend the edges of that. And then I'll go back in with the matte and just kind of focus on building it up on the outer portion of the lid. So it almost creates a gradient of like a couple colors. Well, a couple shades of brown, like a lighter brown and a darker brown, but I'm really only using one color. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Glitter Primer, which I talked about how much I love this product in my most recent favorites video. I'm gonna put it on the inner half of the lid. And I'm gonna use my finger with this top shade here, which I'm very excited for. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's really pretty. Ooh, I love it. And then I'm gonna go back in. Actually, I like to use something a little flatter. I realized I didn't use any of these uh, Alamar brushes, so I'll use this one. This is a pigment packer brush. I'm gonna go in and pack and blend that together. Yeah, I try to create some sort of a gradient where the shimmer and matte meet, and then I just try to messily blend because I'm not I'm not looking for like I guess a precise eye look. I'm just looking for something that looks like pretty easily thrown together, effortless. Because it really is. I mean, I didn't really do anything revolutionary there, but. I like the way that looks. Now I'm just gonna do eyeliner off because I feel like it's not that exciting, but I'm just gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Perversion to Tight Line and the Physician's Formula Waterproof Eyeliner, and I'll be right back. The wings made a choice and one of them looked good, one of them went wild, and then I had to match them up and now we're here. Usually after my eyeshadow, I would go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and like just touch up under my eyes. So I'm just gonna go in the number seven powder I did want to talk about the Aether palette. I really like the shimmer. I think the shimmer looks incredible and honestly the matte worked fine. I have always really been into the idea behind Aether because they are a completely recyclable like packaging brand. There's no mirror. There's no like magnet to close it. It just kind of shuts like that. But like it's still really a pretty product like the dimensions and I I'm just very impressed. I like this. I had one of their other, I do have, I shouldn't say I had, I have their Topaz palette and it's a little darker than what I like this this is my style I'm really happy with this now for blush I tried to grab one that I thought would go with the eyeshadow palette and I haven't used this in a while so this is from Burt's Bee and this is their bare peach blush and I thought this would look nice with this eyeshadow so I'm gonna go in with this brush this is the angled brusher and I'm gonna go in this is oh god that's a lot of pigment tap some of that off I don't want to go too wild but I thought that shade would look really nice with this palette like the more I look at the shimmer in this palette, the more I'm like loving it. Ooh, I'm excited to try the other shades too. For highlighting powder, I've just been trying to hit pan in this one. This is an old favorite of mine. It's the Catrice Highlighting Powder in the shade Champagne Campaign. They don't make this anymore, but like, there's a decent dip in there and that'll be fun to get a pan this year in. This is the Small Powder Brush. This isn't actually part of the other set. This was a point redemption from Ipsy. Like if you review your products every month in your bag every month on Ipsy, they give you points and you can earn them to like, cash out for products so when I see something I like I like to grab it now in my routine I would typically use the Becca light shifter powder and just like blend everything together but I'm gonna try to do that with the number seven powder I will say look at the fingerprints already that's driving me crazy and I'm gonna use this brush this is the powder brush perfect I'm just gonna try to blend everything together I don't know I feel like there's not enough blush or something I don't know I definitely feel like the e.l.f. blush kind of got eaten away. I feel like it makes sense maybe to build it up more so that it doesn't all disappear. Like I said, this is just first impressions. I'll have to update more over time. I feel like that looks a little bit more, more better. That's great English. Okay, I did have a couple brushes left over. I'll try these out another time. Now I'm gonna set with the MAC Fix Plus. Getting down there. It's at that point where it's just like squirting blobs. So for I, for mascara, I'm gonna do this combo. I love this combo, but the next morning, I'm gonna just wake up with raccoon eyes because it's impossible to get it all off. But it's the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara with the Huda Beauty Waterproof Top Coat. Maybe I'll do one eye and then like show you the difference. Okay, I hope you can see the difference. Um, I feel like it's always hard to see it when there's a really big wing. I definitely got some up there. We're we'll right back with the other one. Now. Okay, now I'm gonna do a lip product. I feel like my problem with lip products is like, I'm sure most of these aren't sold anymore. And like, it's just like, why am I even doing a review on it? So now it's just gonna be like a fun game. 
and I, oh, this one is not going to go with this look, so let's just pick again. This is from Clinique, and it's Black Cherry, is that what it's called? At least it has to go with this look if I'm picking it out. Mm, it's very pink. This is a Juicy Tube from Ma in Magic Spell, but it's like very, at least it's got to go with the look if we're using it. Okay, this one, this is from, this is a wine lip tint. I like how I was like, I'm going to randomly pick one, and then I'm like, hmm, it's very red. Actually, that might be fun. Okay, I wasn't expecting to do a reddish orange lip tint today, but that should be fun. Hopefully my lips are not too dry. It's from the brand Chateau Le Boite Wine Lip Tint. Does it have a shade or is the shade, there is no shade. Is there no shade? Where'd the box go? It doesn't appear to, oh, Mariage, Mariage Coral. I actually think I got this in PR from Oh, what's that company called? Uh, it's a, it's a um, company that sells like K Beauty, but they sent this to me in PR. I'm pretty sure in 2020, and here I am using it for the first time. But actually, that color is amazing. It's actually very um, moussey feeling. It's a lip tint, so I wonder if that means it's going to be like this all day, but. That was not where I saw this look going today. So that is very, very exciting, actually. A quick roundup, really, I think the number one spot for me today is the eyeshadow palette, which I'm really glad about. The powder looks really nice. Like, I don't feel like I look super cakey, which is what I try to avoid with powders, which is why I feel like I've been gravitating a lot more towards finishing powders lately, because I feel like they give me the look I'm looking for. Elf blush, I'm gonna have to try and play with. Brushes are brushes. This wine tint, very cool. I'll try to see if I can find anywhere. Like I said, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. But that is the look. I'm definitely wondering what you guys thought of this video. And let me know about the polling thing. Like, if you guys want to do the thing where you, like, choose my makeup and we do, like, a using what's in my collection video and you guys, you know, all the words. Let's take down the ears and the hair for a second. Get the full effect. There we go. And, yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not going to be able to do one of these for a while because I really don't buy makeup very often anymore. And I just kind of use what I have. So I'd love to know what kind of content you guys would like with the older stuff besides like project pans which will be coming next month and next month is also going to be an updated makeup inventory so i will be doing a makeup roulette that month in that video as well so that will be using older products as well and yeah that is it for this video as usual thanks for stopping by my channel if you're new here click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications i have my instagram down below give it a follow and i'll see you in the next video bye guys